Hey guys, JH. Welcome to Practice T. Okay, today we're back in the cow paddock here. Been banished over with the cows. Uh, what I want to talk about today is um, Mo Norman's pitching action from 30 to 60 yards. And one of the guys on the uh, YouTube channel has, uh, has been having difficulty with that shot. Now what I think happens to most people when they're learning Mo Norman is that they get caught up in the look of Mo Norman and the extension and the wide grip, uh, wide stance and the rigidity of look in Mo's swing. And they take that into the, the short part, this 30 to 60 uh, yard level. And guys, I'm testing the audio today. I've got it inside my shirt on my short uh, waistband and I don't know if it'll be fuzzy but we'll, we'll try because it's very windy so um, okay so so what was different about Mo's chipping okay or his pitching okay he just got closer to the golf ball he wasn't here which probably a lot of people are thinking that he pitched the, the ball like that he didn't he got close to the ball and had more verticality in the golf swing as opposed to the the arc changes that we saw in his golf swing. He didn't have that in the pitch shots and you don't want that. You, you want to minimise the arc. It's like putting. You want to minimise the arc. You don't want the club going around here. You basically just want it going here and here if you possibly can. As square to square as you possibly can get it. So how did he do that? Well he just stood closer to the golf ball. He let his hands even though he had single axis, he didn't have him out there. He gripped the club down significantly, so that brought him closer to the ball. And he got here, and his stance wasn't as wide. He, he got into, into this type of position here, which is this position. Look. He wasn't here, wasn't trying to pitch the ball like that. He was here, on top of it, and the club was just going here. So he could basically just windscreen wiper it, ish it that's what that's all he was doing he was just windscreen wiper he, he wasn't radially turning it and guys he just let the club have its way Me bear in mind he was left-handed so he always had even on the short shot he always had a lot of drag which is yeah you know, prerequisite for crisp striking when you pitch the ball you have to you have to really pull the club in and you've got to straight line it and you've got to keep that that right wrist bent now he did that better than anyone ever and, and of course he just let the club have its way he actually hinged it going back guys. he never cocked it he hinged it on these short shots nobody talks about that but he hinged it that's a hinge and that's a cock he hinged it so he had the paintbrush feel about 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 the pitching action that's what he did There wasn't any sort of taking it back here, cocking it up, and then bringing it down, because that's all too hard. He just felt the head of the golf club, just took it back, just let it load and come through. And if you watch on that Craig Shanklin tape that Craig did for the for the uh, the PGA of America at their, their annual uh, presentation, he took that along. It was like about an hour tape of Mo practicing at uh, Flagler Beach which was Craig Shanklin's little nine hole course up there where Mo spent the summertime or, or the Canadian winter um, yeah, and it shows Mo in a section there hitting shots to a 60 yard so, and he's talking about it and you watch it if you watch just that you'll see this guys it's just it's just beautiful flow and rhythm he's not uh, He's not rigid, he's not, he hasn't got his, his feet a long, long way apart, it's just, just that type of action. And he was knocking down that sign apparently, I, I wasn't there that day, but apparently I know someone who was and he said he just, you know, just knocked the uh, centre of the, uh, the 60 yard sign out. Yeah, so guys, get closer to it, grip it down and just, and just, and just hinge it. 
It's very hard to get good contact out of this grass here. It's terrible because uh, it's you know it's three inches deep. It's not it's not a practice fairway. It's a it's a cow feeding area. <coughs> I wish they'd have uh, chewed it down a bit more. Yeah. So guys, this is it. The, the stance is not inordinately wide, and you get close to it and just that's all it is. And I say for you guys that are having trouble with it is that you're you're trying to pitch the ball like this. You can't do that. I'll just hit a couple of shots this way towards the camera and, and you'll see basically how close I am. And so it's just a throw guys. It's, it's just a load. I just take it back and I just load the club with the throw. I just load it. Load it with the throw. There it is. Uh, really guys, that's as simple as it is. And the other thing, which is just a little bit of inside information, Mo never ever used a sand iron off the fairway or for these shots. He never used one off the fairway. He played with that old Wilson Sandy Andy, which had a lot of bounce on it. And all Mo's clubs had no bounce on them. He used to grind them back to almost the first groove. And that you could shave with them. They just had no bounce, just dead flat, because he was such a great striker. So he didn't want any bounce on his golf clubs at all. So he used his wedge. And he could hit these shots to any shape or flight or softness or hardness that you wanted because he was a genius. But he never used a sand iron for this shot, which may be a good thing for for the club player. And I mean, I use wedges a lot for this. And, and basically, after I met Mo and uh, and saw what he did, um, so 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 just get just get a wedge. Now they're, they're going about. 40 yards carry I'll just knock 160 now the only difference is we're going to have a little bit more more load there's 60 just more load guys that's all it is very hard to get any contact out of here now you can hit that far I mean that's 60 yards and you can do that without any trouble at all and it, you see my, like like a you know normal pitch shots a bit closer together, but this is sort of shoulder width, but it's not inordinately feet outside the shoulders which we saw with Mo. And 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 the other thing, guys, because he was left-handed, he pulled very hard on these shots. He pulled hard with the left hand, and that right wrist was always in that position, it was always here. So we always got that type of contact. Right, just a little 35er. So guys, that's what it is. Don't get too far away. You've got to stand the club up. You want verticality in these shots. You don't want, you know, much radial arc. And you will get that. If you, I mean, I couldn't pitch the ball from there anyway. I mean, I just wouldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But Mo had a lot of freedom in the shots. Even on those little shots, the butt of the club always pointed that way. Even on a little shot, pointed that way. I don't get that because I haven't got the, the confidence to do that. I can't do that. You get a lot of lot of hit on the ball, but I don't have the confidence to actually make that that aggressive a move on a very, very short shot. So we're just going to push it back pull it through. I mean that's just beautiful. I mean why would I want to change that anyway? So that's it guys. Don't get too far away from the ball and let the club have that paintbrush process. Just let it load and unload. Do it a bit smoother than I do it. I mean I'm, if you look on that tape you'll see that Mo does it amazingly softly. That's all you got to do guys simple as. So the message is get close to the ball, grip it down, think you want verticality, hinge the wrists, have a paintbrush feel, feel the golf club, feel the golf club very heavy and it'll cock itself because a lot of people just cock the club up here and then they're trying to think oh, I've got to hold it or I'm gonna, how am I going to get that cock back. Don't worry about the cock, just hinge it. Just, I call flap it, just, just flap it. 
on the backswing. That keeps the club really looking at the golf ball. It's really a square to square type action, which is what you want on a short drop. Okay, guys, just have a look at that. And um, I hope that helps you out. But it's, um, I'll just hit another one this way so you can see what it looks like. And have a bit of freedom in your legs. You know, have a little bit. Okay guys, have a look at that. Hope that helps you.